Boom! What's up everybody? My name is Kim Skogwell and today we'll be taking a look at luminosity masks and uh, how you make them, how you can use them. This is going to be a three-parter uh, and I'm going to start with the, the simplest way and then we're going to graduate to a little bit more advanced but it's still a luminosity mask and then we're going to go to the more advanced but it's nothing to it really. Once you understand how to make them they're really easy and a blast to use. And once I'm done with the third part, and if we hit 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway because I have made a macro uh, preset that gives you a luminosity mask that has five highlights, five shadows, and five midtones. So you're gonna save a whole lot of time. So uh, in part three, make sure you read the description and uh, see how you can enter. And um, if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and leave some comments down below. We'll see you inside of Affinity Photo. Okay, so we're back inside Affinity Photo again, and I'm gonna show you a couple of ways you can and make luminosity masks. So I'm gonna start with the easiest way, but this is only good for one highlight, one shadow, and one mid-tones in my opinion. So what you do, make sure you have your image layer selected. You go up to selection or select, tonal range, hi select highlights, we get all these marching end up here, and they basically mask out everything but the highlights. So how you use this is you now go over to adjustments, for example. You can choose whatever you want here, but I'm going to choose levels for this tutorial just so it's easier to see what it is we're actually adjusting. So you hit, hit it. You see we get this box up. We get a, a layer mask or a mask that is representing all these marching ants here. And we're going to be adjusting everything that is white and Everything that is black on this mask is not going to be adjusted. So to see what you're adjusting, hit Command or Control D to deselect all the marching ants because you have it here on the layer. So now if I move these sliders about, you can see it's only affecting the highlights. And as you can see, this sky is being affected a lot more. And that's because this is two separate images. I cut out the sky. Just so this, I could prove this effect a little bit better what it actually is adjusting. So that is your highlights. And I highly recommend you um, name these so you know what they are. So now we're going to mark our uh, or select our image layer again. Go back up to select. Tonal range. We're going to choose shadows now. We get those same marching ants, but only now they're masking out everything but the shadow areas or the darker areas. So I'm going back here to adjustments. Go to levels. We get that new uh, layer up with the mask. And we have the histogram here. So again, command control D to deselect. Now you can move here and you can see that it's only the darker parts of the image that gets affected. So I'm going to just make some really heavy adjustments here so we can really see what is going on. Okay, so now this is the shadow layer. Then we go back and we mark our select our image layer. We go back up here and I'm pretty sure you know what to do. You go to select midtones. Now you can see new set of marching ants. Then we go here to adjustments again, levels, command control D to deselect. We have the new mask here. And again, now you can see that it's only the mid-tones that gets affected with whatever it is we're doing, adjusting. So that is pretty much how you can make a really nice graduated selections from highlights, midtones, and shadows, and you can adjust them however you want. And just make sure you keep it organized and have highlight shadows and midtones. Because once you start getting a whole bunch of layers, this can be really hard to remember what is what. 
and, uh, and that's pretty much it if you like this tutorial please hit that subscribe button the notification bell and leave some comments down below and i'll see you next time and i'll demonstrate another way how i make luminosity masks